we will start with the garbage collection okay the class test okay the class test let's see what is this so this is okay example of class test okay. and if I could increase the size wait a second So this is an example of okay, garbage collection. So the garbage in my Java programming is collected uh, by itself, automatic. Okay, so automatic. Okay, garbage collection is the pro one of the property of Java. So what is garbage? The garbage is okay anything which is left with. So when once you run the program, and program will have a number of variables. A number of memory spaces, mainly the memory spaces, okay, which are used by the programs. So they are okay, still remains inside the memory of the computer. So those okay memories are removed by the program itself. So here's the example of the okay, garbage collection. We are okay now in the process of okay creating class. The class theme is test. Okay, the test. It is public class test. And inside the public class test, we are using two functions. Okay, two methods. Number one is public static void main. This is the first method, and the second method is public void finalized okay this one so let's see how does it work okay, like this way so in the first method okay public static void main okay we are okay creating an object uh, or just inst instantiating the class itself so instantiation of the class starts with the okay the test, okay, the class itself, and the instance of the class. This is the small t, okay, instance of the class. Uh, you can think it as an object. And this is a new object, okay, created from the test class. This is all about this one, okay, new test. So this is a new object, okay, t. This t is a new object, which is of type test okay so the next line is this one I should put it in the next line that's okay so in this okay line we are assigning okay the value null okay this null okay, which is null means zero nothing okay just remove the anything which is inside so if there's some value earlier okay on in the memory of t okay object t we are going to remove it and completely empty the memory space this is the meaning of this one t equal to none this means t has been assigned okay in the box of t we are putting just nothing null value empty we are creating just removing everything from the variable t and putting empty the box the variable t okay this is the meaning then we go for the line number 13 okay the control will go to the third line number 13 and it will check okay uh, system dot gc okay so what is gc gc is actually okay, the garbage collector okay itself so uh, this is a function inside the garbage collector so if i could show you okay this is something like this uh, the garbage this one so this is the function okay if we think about so it runs okay the garbage collector in java virtual machine and calling the gc method suggests that java virtual machine expand okay, effort towards resizing unused object so whatever is remaining inside the program all those objects variables are removed okay 
So recycling means remo removing, okay, removing all this and cleaning up, just cleaning all those empty area. Uh, I mean, cleaning all those object or variables, okay, whatever is inside the program, they are recycled, they are removed, okay, and clean up the space so that we can get back all the memory of the RAM for the next program. So this is how it works. Okay, so okay, let's run this program and see. Uh, before running, okay, let's see what is the meaning of finalize okay, method. So we created another okay, uh, finalize okay, method, which is public void. Okay? This means we are not getting back anything. So there's no return from this function void. Means nothing we will get back. So public void finalize has just simple message that system dot out okay dot print line is printing the message that garbage has collected because we run the program with system dot gc okay this one so okay that's all so what we are collecting in this garbage okay this object okay we didn't use it. The object is empty and we didn't use it, so it will collect that garbage, that memory space, and remove the, the object itself. Okay. So removing this object is the main purpose in this program. Okay. That's why we are calling GC. So let's run this program and see the effect. So I will just compile first, okay. So let's say test, and I will just okay, compile. So let's compile for me. That's okay, no problem. Compile, and the build is successful. Okay, and thereafter, okay, let's run the program test.java. Run it. Okay, so it is by default called inside. Okay, the main function. We don't need to put inside, okay, this main function, that's all. So, okay, uh, you can see we got the message, that's all. Okay? So this is okay, how the memory collector or garbage collector is used inside the Java. Okay, let's move to the next program. The next program is about the, okay, uh, the point class, okay. So here, okay, we are getting, okay, the point class with the uh, iteration. Okay, so I think I have written this program. This point two. If I can see. Uh, uh, okay. This one I think. Ah, uh, this is also example of garbage collector. Okay, so I have written this program with the name. Okay, uh, this one actually. So we finished this program to see whether we can use the garbage collector. Now next one is about the, remember we put the program like point, okay, this one. So it, there's modification for this one in this garbage collect point. Okay? The name of the program I changed from your menu because uh, it we have to make the class of same type, okay? So in this program, we are using, okay, the garbage collector to collect the memory, okay? Uh, after finishing, okay, the computation for the point, this one. So, okay, let's see what happens here. So here, okay, we are importing the, the first time, okay, see here. So in the line number 12, okay, we are importing uh, Windows, okay, is uh, class, Windows class, okay, which is a part of AWT. So AWT is a part of Java, okay, package. So we are importing a package which is called java.awt.windows, okay. So this is the Windows package which will help us to get the Windows, okay. 
this is the main purpose why we are using this import the reason is we are okay uh, instantia we are calling the method of calling the method of windows okay method that is called get windows okay that's why we are using windows here the next okay line line number 13 is about the okay, public class okay, garbage collect point so the main idea is to collect the garbage whichever is inside the point class okay uh, mainly the object okay? the main thing is object so inside we are writing just only one main function okay main function which is known as public static void main okay public static void main okay this one and in the public static void main okay uh, we are using a loop that is for loop okay so using okay so using the loop okay for loop this one on line number 16 right we are going to okay, uh, loop it this program from is instantiated with zero started with zero i equal to zero the first thing so the first in the for loop okay there are three components if you can remember from java so the first component is int i equal to zero so the integer type variable i is starting with zero and it will go to zero one two three and so on up to 99 okay this one and every time i is increased so i will increase after okay zero zero one two and so on okay so first it will put the zero in the first loop in the first loop it will put the zero okay in the second okay loop run it will put one okay and so on so i is just looping from zero to one two and so on up to 99 and in the okay block of f okay in the block of f we are using okay this uh, new okay window none so we are creating an object of type windows okay so windows is a class so we are creating an instance okay if you can see here okay we are creating an instance of the class okay instance of the class so this is okay new window and the variable uh, i mean the input is null this means we are this object instance has nothing as value payment okay so inside this object there's nothing null okay just we created an object with nothing empty okay inside no value is inside so let's see okay and the next line okay? the next line is Uh, is it okay? Everybody can listen. That's okay. So I will move further. Okay. The next line is system dot out the print line. So this okay line number nineteen is as you can imagine very clear. It is just okay. Well, if I can okay put it in one line, it will be better for you to understand. That's okay. So line number nineteen is okay is used to print okay the status of the this windows dot get windows okay for this one okay object so before garbage collection okay it will print before the garbage garbage collection okay uh, before this one before line number 20 okay so this is main line for collecting the garbage so before running this line the control will be here at line number 19 when there is garbage in terms of okay new object from the windows okay so it will show before garbage collection okay message that 
windows dot get windows is there dot length the it will tell the size of the object okay windows dot get windows the map okay so uh, in that case it will show the object's length that's all in so what is the length i will show you the length what is the meaning of the length okay so the length is okay this public final integer may length okay the length is a uh, uh, i think it will be there just wait a second i will show you okay here yeah. this one again i'm talking about this one so public and uh, the same thing public final integer okay length so e uh it is not inside okay java dog that's okay but uh the definition of this okay length it is a method okay it is a method inside get windows okay which is used to show the length of the object okay get windows get windows length and in the line number 20 okay now we will start the process of garbage collection system dot gc so system dot gc will okay recycle will clean up the objects okay unused inside java so this object is unused so it will collect this and remove it right so system dot gc is applied on line number 20 so the control will come here and remove the garbage and then it will go to the line number 21 the next line okay and it will show okay the message that okay now we have collected the garbage okay so there's almost everything is clean okay after garbage collection it will show again the windows length okay so that you can see what is the difference between this and this one okay okay so let's run this program so that we can see it better so now I will run the program I just want to right click and run the file that's okay and see here okay if you can see here that's okay in this program okay if you can see uh, before garbage collection okay we had an object which has okay which which had a length of 100 okay it was an object with the length 100 before after running this this line line number 20 okay system dot gc okay this line we had removed this garbage okay uh, of object okay remove this object and thereafter okay after garbage collection the length of the object is zero why because the object has been okay recycled yani cleaned up removed okay so this is okay how the garbage collection works okay so this is program number okay uh, your manual if i can see the manual uh, this is on the page number 10 page number 10 uh, but the name of the class is class public class point okay uh, so i just change the name of the class so that the there may be no clash inside this garbage collect point and the uh, point of java okay this these two files so that's why i just change the name of the file uh, name of the class also okay let's move to the uh, page number 11 there's one program that is called time class okay time class so it is a long program but it is very interesting okay so you will see in this okay time okay program for class designing okay for designing the class so okay let's see how does it work here so i will show you okay time class this one so this is the time class okay i have written it that's okay 
So the first thing is, okay, we have to declare the class, okay. So public class time, the same thing. And then inside, okay, there are three, okay, variables. And these are actually the data itself, okay. So that's why we put it even in the public class, this data protection, okay, private. So nobody can access, can see inside this data. Okay. So this is a security reason. Why we put the private for this one? The reason is for security. Uh, for security reasons, okay, uh, private, okay, there's always, okay, private of variables. So if you can remember in Java, okay, uh, everything is private. Uh, everything is, okay. Uh, private okay, by default but here we are explicitly clearly writing that these are okay object of okay type int int and double and also it is of private nature okay so instance variable so these are variables the first one is private integer hour private integer minutes the second one private double seconds okay so we are using these okay variables okay inside our methods this method and this method and so on so that's why okay we are putting private so all the data which are accessed inside the programs are written as private like this one. So now, okay, so in this one, okay, uh, the first thing is we are, okay, in the process of, for the class time, we are in the process of, okay, creating an instance of the time. So this is the instance of time, any object, okay, public time. And in this one, okay, uh, so this is a kind of constructor you can think like this okay so constructor is used to create it, uh, an object okay so this is what is written here okay not parameterize okay parameterize okay construct means the constructor is created but without argument there's nothing inside the brackets we are not taking inside any argument just instantiating or creating an, a constructor, an object of the, of the class, okay, that's all. So, okay, public time, okay, this constructor, okay, object, and then, okay, we are pointing using the this. So, this is a pointer, okay, it will point to the time, okay, the object itself. So, this is a pointer, it will just point, okay, to the variable time okay so every time whenever you write the constructor it will create an object okay the object okay, will be pointed by using this okay keyword so this keyword is used to point the object in the memory that okay this means this object time Okay. this means this object time okay and we are accessing the method okay uh, uh, the object uh, sorry the variable this variable okay so we are accessing okay for this constructor object because object okay can take anything any property of the class okay so because we are defining the class time so we can take anything any okay any property which is inside the object and these are the three variables inside the time so we can create the object okay instantiate okay using the constructor and then accessing the variables the same variable okay this dot hour and putting the value now we are putting the value this okay yani the time okay variable uh, time object okay uh, dot hour time objects variable 
name hour is equal to zero. This any time objects minute is zero. Okay, again this dot second. Okay, the objects uh, is accessing. Okay, the object is accessing the pro, uh, one of the okay data or property of the time second is equal to zero point zero. So if you can see here again okay, clearly. clearly uh, we are using again the same thing integer integer and double for our we are using integer we are using integer for the minutes okay and double just we use 0, 0.0 because the second is a double okay? type that's all okay and the next thing is public time so this is another okay constructor but this time we are putting inside the arguments this one okay we are putting inside okay taking in in taking in all those okay arguments so the first argument is integer hour the second is integer minute and the third is double second okay like this so we are taking okay the three types of argument hour minute seconds and okay uh, inside this object time okay and okay, running it so what is inside let's see so inside okay uh, this dot hour means we are using the same object this okay time object and putting okay this hour which is entered by the user okay so user enters some hour it will be put as the value okay payment for the time okay hour this one so it will be exactly the same which is entered by the user okay inside this box this dot hour okay the next one is the same way okay the minute entered by the user will be accepted or it will be put inside the variable okay minute this this minute okay which are access using okay, this dot minute the third one okay the second okay uh, is the same way okay is putting inside this dot second that's all this means the object times okay second okay the next thing is about the get hour now we start to write the methods so we created two constructors okay two objects okay, creators and then okay we are using the method get hour so public integer get hour okay. that's all public integer get hour and it will okay not take any parameters okay but it will return integer type okay so it will public integer get hour will return this dot hour see so to get the information of hour okay we are using the method okay getter okay getter method getter accessor method which is called public integer get hour inside we are using return this dot hour this one the same thing so we will get the hour by this this method okay the next method is get minutes okay so using get minutes this one okay public integer get method we are getting back the this okay this means the object okay time times minute this one okay see here the same thing so whatever inside okay the minute variable it will be returned using this method if we call this method inside our main program we will get the minutes uh, in the same way the second cc that's all okay i will not explain the same way okay the next thing is okay uh, we can also set okay so get seconds and now uh, we will set the time we will write okay the time so this is the method to set the time okay set hour and we are taking one parameter okay 
that is integer hour which is entered by the user I want to put the time uh, 8 o'clock I want to put the time 9 o'clock okay hours okay? Or, uh, just I want to put the hours 6 hours okay 10 like this okay so public void it is not returning anything just inserting the user's hour okay inside the program so public void set hours and then integer hour the parameter and this dot hour okay this dot hour equal to hour means uh, inserted hour will be the value keymet for the object okay time okay dot hour this one uh, in the same way uh, the set minutes will work in the same way okay we will set the minute time a uh, minute okay? and in the same way we will set the second okay this one in the object time okay and here is the okay another function uh, another okay method which is called okay uh, overriding okay to string so public string to to string okay so the type is string the to string okay method is it will return a string type okay variable it will return a string type variable this one as you can see here okay that's okay and also it is public that's okay right public string that's all okay so uh, I will not go through this but okay let's see um, public string to string is method which is built inside the object okay class so this is a internal file of the Java which I okay class name is object okay inside the class name object we are okay, here with the two string where is this one I think so we're here right uh, where is this one two string no String. There should be a method that is called. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, so we are okay overriding because uh, the function is written already inside the Java. Okay, Java program. Uh, okay, this Java programming okay, system. So, like this one, public string to string, uh, which will return okay something like this one okay get class dot get name and the ray okay uh, integer dot to hexa okay string hash code so this is already built in okay method inside the object dot java class okay uh, which is inside the system of java that's okay but now here okay, we are write, writing again uh, so that's why it is called overriding. So public string, okay, to string, okay, and it will return, okay, the next thing, uh, this one, return this dot hour, the same thing. Remember, it will, okay, write for you because we cannot see, okay, whatever we insert inside the class uh, object, uh, whatever we will get back. So the get back is, okay, is here actually. So if we don't write, okay, this method, okay, public string to string, we will not see, okay, uh, what is the time, what is the hour, what is the minute, what is the second. To print the, these, okay, uh, information, we use now, okay, public string to string met method, and it will return this dot hour, okay this dot hour means this one this one get get hour okay Opt, uh, methods return type this one so it will return this dot hour it will return this dot okay uh, uh, minutes this one and it will return this dot second okay 
and it will return our minute second seconds okay so we are writing here our minute and second so using this okay we will see on the on the computer screen okay our minute seconds that's all so okay uh, now we are in the main module module okay main block so public static void main string argument okay and then okay we are now one by one using okay uh, in line number 15 uh, using the constructor to create an object this one so the constructor will have to create an object time dot uh, time the type is time okay user defined type which is here the time class okay so from the time class we are now creating an object name t1 t1 which is an okay, an object of class time okay of type time okay user defined type time right so the next one is uh, we are creating another object t2 okay which is of user defined type time okay this one but this is see here uh, the t1 is has no argument this object is without an argument so this means we are creating an object okay of type this constructor okay this is so here okay uh, we are not taking inside any argument in the bracket this one just we are instantiating with different okay uh, values for our minute and seconds like this one but see the second constructor which will create another object p2 will have inside okay our minute seconds and it will uh, put the those hour minute seconds inside the object time so there are two types of object one t1 is without argument the first one and the another object t2 is with the argument this one okay so there, these are the different types of okay object t1 and t2 so see the effect after this okay now we are in the process of printing okay system out dot print dot print line so if we see now inside uh, using system out print line t1 so we are calling this okay object this one t1 dot get hour so from here okay, we will get the hour which is in the t1 object of type time and without any argument this one okay so uh, but when we call the t2 another object with certain argument which is inserted by the user okay then we will get the hour of that user okay this one the hour of the user this one okay not zero so t1 remember it is zero why because the t1 uh, is coming from this constructor time which has hour zero so that's why we are getting zero here at the first okay t1 uh, line number 52 okay for this t1 object okay we will get the get uh, get hour we will get the hour as zero but the second one t1 okay uh, t2 we will get the hour from the user okay which is inserted as 12 and so on okay all these so uh, for the second one okay we will get the t2 uh, seconds get seconds okay like this one get seconds is this one 40.12 this is the second okay and minute will be okay written as this one right and finally okay we will get uh, we will call this function uh, this method okay to string so it will print t2 okay uh, this this object to string okay so it will put the hour minute and second which is here hour minutes and second okay of the user inserted okay let's run this program so that you can see okay better what does 
So now it's okay. Uh, just run this one. Right click and run the program. And it is there, right? Just wait a second. So now you can see easily. That's okay. So the first one, okay, this one, line number 52, return 0 because T1 is without any, okay, argument from the user. And the value of, okay, hour in this, okay, variable is coming from here, okay, this one, time, uh, the, okay, constructor, and the, the object is created from this constructor, okay, so the hour is 0, this one. Uh, the other one is 12, okay? Why? Because it is coming to this, okay, object from T2, okay, as get hour. And get, uh, uh, the user entered 12, so that's why we are getting 12. Then we are getting 40.12, the second and the minute, okay? The seconds here, okay? And the minutes is here, okay? And finally, uh, from the string, to string, okay, method, we are getting this line, 12, 30 point, uh, 30, okay, 12, why we are getting this one? Uh, this is the hour, okay, 12, that's okay, which is this one. Then a colon is here, okay, to separate hour, minute, and second. So we are getting this hour, 12, then uh, minutes are there, so 30, okay, minutes, see here, this is the 30 minutes, and then second, okay, so there are three parts, 12, 30, and 40.12 second, okay, all together, so this is, okay, all about this one, so let's say if you wish to check it again, I'll put it here, okay, let's say the hour is 5, okay, and the uh, minute is let's say 40 okay and the second is let's say i'm changing this to uh 29 point four okay like this so earlier okay if you can remember it was 40.12 so i'm just writing 29.4 four or four okay or four one that's okay no problem and I am also to show you in this one, uh, I'm changing the hour. That's okay for this time from zero to let's say I am putting two here, right? That's okay. And let's run this. And just run it, see the effect. And now you can see the first, okay, time we are getting for T1, okay, which is coming from time, okay, with no argument, as 2, this is the 2, and this is the next one is 5, okay, which is coming from T2, object, 29.41 and 40, okay, and finally, 5, 40, 29.141, this is all. So this is, okay, a lengthy, okay, program, but it shows all the basic class operations, okay, one by one. So, okay, I go, I think you got some idea now. Uh, so, so in this class, okay, the class name is account, which is in your lab manual, the, the page number 13, okay, page number 13. And if I can show you further, okay. It is about the arrays of objects, okay. So it is just uh, an, a program that will, okay, have an array with, uh, within the array, there are number of objects, okay. So that's why it is called arrays of objects, okay. So there are number of objects and we m created a, uh, collection of object that is called set set of objects and that set of objects is known as in programming as arrays of objects okay so this is the main idea behind this one
in arrays of objects. So uh, this is okay. The class function, uh, class okay, of name account. And uh, I did I did something with the class account? One minute, I will check it. And we will create object array. That's okay. So we will create two items okay in this class. Okay, the first one is. The first one is uh, we will create an array of objects that is called account okay? uh, inside the class account and then we will have okay class object array that's all okay? so let's say one by one. So this is the class okay account. And you can see here, okay, we have okay two variables, integer a and b. And pay attention that this is not a private, okay, data, private, okay, variable declaration. It is simply integer a and b, okay. So it is available actually to the public void set data, the method, okay, this method. So the method set data will set the value of payment inside this variable a and b in this box a and b. Okay. So okay, what does it mean? It means that we are taking two parameters now in this method: integer type c variable, and in the other one is integer type d variable. Okay is entered by the user itself so let's say user want to set a data okay set some value payment of this okay integer a and b so it can do it using set data we cannot assign itself okay the value and a and b directly just using the method set data we use okay uh, to insert put inside okay the values so here, okay, on line number 14, okay, we are assigning C, value C of the user entered by the user to the variable A. And also, okay, in line number 15, we are inserting, we are just putting inside the users, okay, uh, inserted input data D, okay, user has entered the data D, which is the value for B, okay. So A equal to C and B equal to D now in this setting data setting okay, the values and thereafter okay, we are using a um, method which is called public void show data okay so set data and show data setting the value and getting the value that's all okay so show data okay will get the value get the data so it will put the value of A and B. That's all. Very simple. And there's another program I think I have written somewhere. Object array. Maybe this one. Just let me double check with this one. Object array. Yeah, sure. That's one. So object array. So now, okay, I am using object array. This one. Okay. That's okay. And how does it look like? It depends on actually the account, okay? This class, that's okay. So object array, okay? Class is like this, okay? If you can see here, okay? It is also very simple program, just a few lines. So public class object array, this one, okay? And inside, okay, this class object array, we are first, okay, declaring. A method, the main method actually, okay, public static void main. And line number 11 is about the object creation, okay. So if you can see here in the account.java, okay, this file, we have created a class account, okay, the user defined type class, okay, account. And now we can create object of this class, okay, account, which is done here, okay, using this account object, okay, uh, of what? 
object of array okay array type okay object which is of type okay array and at the same time it is coming from the okay user defined type account okay and it is a new this means we are creating an object okay this one and uh, we are inserting okay uh, two spaces inside we didn't insert anything but we are inserting just two space for the error okay that's all so the space number zero okay there in the array there are two spaces two boxes in the op in the first box which is known as object zero okay which is also a new okay class uh, new object uh, I should say a uh, new object of account type that's okay and the other one <coughs> excuse me so uh, the other one okay object one okay is another okay object of type account that's all in line number 1230 thereafter okay we are okay, putting in the first box say set data and we are putting in the first box uh, the user entered data a b uh, if you can remember it is cd not the ab okay it was cd like this one and we just replaced the c and d by a and b respectively right so we are setting in this object zero okay the first box <coughs> sorry the data okay which is entered by the user one two and in the second box okay object one okay we are setting the value 3, 4. That's all. Okay. This is the meaning of this one. 14 and 15. And thereafter, okay, we are going to put the value uh, on in the line number 16. We are going to put okay, uh, this on the display on the monitor as print line. So the print line will print, okay, for the array element 0. Okay. And then it will put inside, okay. Uh, it will show object zero show data this one and for the second box okay it will show the data of the second box using show data right this method so let's see okay how does it work so first okay I will compile the first one okay. oh everything looks good that's okay and then the second one okay. So the second is also seems to be happy. So let's run this program. Okay. Object array. So right click and run the file. And now you can see the results like this one. So here, okay, if you can see, okay, the line number 16 is this one. Okay, for array element zero. This is just simple print. The next line, 17, is showing the value which is entered by the user. Value of A is 1, value of B is 2, okay? And thereafter, okay, uh, for the line number 18, okay, the result is this one, for array element 1, print. And thereafter, okay, line number 19, okay, is here. Value of A is 3 and value of B is 4, okay, for the second box, okay? So, okay, uh, that's all, okay, about the array. So, inside array, we may have many uh, objects, okay, because it is a collection of objects. The program, okay, is showing you how the objects within the array works together, okay, and you can do different operations on those objects within the array, that's all. Even, okay, uh, if we put another object uh, with different value, that's okay. So, let's say rather than creating an object of type 2, we can create uh, an object, okay, uh, an array actually of object 3, okay. Uh, so, in this case, we will put the object, okay, of type space 3, okay, 3 objects, right. And let's say I am putting inside, okay, the 
And how about this one, account job? Okay, uh, this is simply okay, putting in the values, that's all. So this is, there's nothing to change here, that's okay. But the next, in the object array, we have to create first instantiate, okay, the third object. So we can write like object, let's say, uh, we name it as object A, is, okay, like this one, equal to new, okay, account, and then uh, just empty argument, that's all. And then after, okay, we are putting inside that object, okay, a value. So let's say in the, uh, no, no, it's not. This one. It is the second object, okay. Uh, by the because array starts with a zero index, so that's why I am naming it as zero one two, okay. Uh, so here, okay, we are putting inserting, okay, putting inside the object number, uh, the last uh, object inside the last object, which will be zero one two. The two will be the last object in the okay in the third object we are putting the value dot and set okay set the data of what let's say i am setting data for the third okay object as uh, let's say i put seven and eight that's all so we are putting the data inside so that's all. If you want to keep like this one, that's okay. And then if we are calling that element, okay, like this one. So rather than writing, okay, let's write this one. That's okay. It's not compulsory. But create line. Packet. We are going to write just the string. That's all. Okay. okay. Element. That's all. Putting the space. That's all. That's all. Oh, we are just missing. Okay, that's all. So this is okay. Yes. Mount and how about the other? Uh, we we have to the uh, the last element object. Okay, to this means this is the last one. Dot. Okay, sure. That's all. Okay, show data. So that's all, right? So let's run this program. See the result. And this file. Uh, I think better to compile, but it's okay. I think it has compiled also. So okay, uh, if you can see here, uh, because I didn't put okay, uh, the okay, no problem. A seven, the the third one, and B is eight, that's all, okay? So this is how you do it. Because I didn't put print line, so it is just telling me in the one line, okay, that's all. So this is all about this one, run five. And now you will still see it in the next line, that's all. So the third element is, okay, uh, for the first, second element, all these are here, okay, like this way. So the first ele uh, element yani in, in zero is A and B is here. For the second element, uh, which is indexing as okay, one is here. And the third okay, element, which is indexed as two, will be A equal to seven, B equal to eight, that's all. So this is how you work you know, on the objects within the array, that's all.